which you guys got another video here for you. Should you download Windows ISOs from third party websites? The simple answer to that is no. I see so many comments in the comment section telling people to use Tiny11 and all these other ISOs that you can find on the internet. So why shouldn't you use them? Well, downloading ISO files, especially from third party websites, can be a risky business. So it's crucial that you ensure that the source where you're downloading ISOs from is trustworthy, as third party sites may distribute modified or even malicious ISO files which can contain malware. And before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys? Then check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key and you can then activate your version of Windows like you see on the screen. So sometimes these third party websites may contain malware, viruses or any other malicious software. So when you go to download the actual ISO file, it will redirect you like it does right here. And you can end up downloading some malicious software as well as uh, the ISO file that you wanted to get. Maybe adverts, it may be fake websites that you get redirected to. And also the ISO that you're getting, you don't know whether it's legit and whether it's from Microsoft themselves or whether it has been modified by the person who's uploaded it. Sites like UUP Dump, I've used myself. And the reason why I use these is because to bring you uh, updated versions of Windows very early without joining the Windows Insider program. I can download the ISOs from here and I can basically put these onto a virtual machine. So a virtual machine is not going to be used for my own personal use. It's just for tutorial purposes. Now I have heard that the ISOs that you're downloading from this site are actually coming from Microsoft. But how would you know that that is 100% true, you just won't. And that is the big problem. And these are being constructed and builded by using the UUP dump method. And you can see a prompt screen will pop up and it will start to create an ISO file. And basically, it does look very, very risky because it's not your conventional way of downloading an ISO file. And of course, if someone tells you that it's officially coming from Microsoft, it doesn't necessarily mean that that is true because people will tell lies to get you to download something now i'm not suggesting that uup dump is a dodgy website i'm just saying that you have to do a risk assessment you can check the uh you know the checksum or verify the hash of that particular file as well but then that is still no guarantee that that hasn't been tampered with so you really should uh, get them from the source but if you do need iso files from the Windows Insider program that are on very early release and you have to be on the Windows Insider program to download them, then you can use UUP Dump to get those. Now I see a lot of people recommending Tiny11 uh, and there's nothing wrong with people creating these magnificent debloated ISO files for people to use. Unfortunately, the risk factor is super high. Because I've made videos in the past showing people how you can remove components from the actual Windows build. And if you can remove components, you can also add components as well. And that is the risk factor right there. Someone could quite easily add in a small file that could be hidden into that build. And when you install it, it then injects itself onto the system. And it could be a rootkit, a backdoor for them to gain access and i'm not suggesting that tiny 11 has malware in it i'm just saying you have to evaluate the whole thing and realize how risky downloading someone else's creation is and i still stand by that today regardless of what people think you should do your own risk assessment other sites like these ones as well which are shady at best why you would want to download an ISO file from a site like this that is offering ways to crack Windows or uh, activate Windows illegally and then offering download links for ISO files, I would certainly not do that myself. And that is a risk that I see a lot of people taking all the time. They will 
obviously want to download an ISO file, say like an IoT version or IoT LTSC or an even LTSC versions, enterprise versions, server versions, and they're not getting them from Microsoft. And there's a reason why you can't get them from Microsoft is because you can't get them from Microsoft unless you have a license agreement with Microsoft and you're a business or a company and they will then allow you to download them. Downloading them this way is super risky and it's certainly not advised. And I'm certainly not going to take someone's opinion in the comments section that says it's completely safe uh, to download. I've used it on my system. And this goes for other methods to download Windows ISOs like Rufus. Uh, downloading the Windows ISO through Rufus. Again, why get it from Rufus when you can get it from the Microsoft website? If they don't offer it anymore, that's one of the big problems with Microsoft. They do end uh, the download links for older versions like 23H2 and things like that very early. And that is very unfortunate. Sites like this one, someone asked about this site the other day and said, is it legit? Can I use it? Is it safe? And the short answer to it is no, it's not legit and it's not safe and it could also be in breach of copyright so you could be creating your own copyright infringement and also potential legal issues if you're running a site like this now will microsoft do anything about it probably not and why doesn't microsoft offer a site like this themselves which would make things a lot more easier for people to download versions of windows directly from them like Windows 7, if someone wants to use Windows 7, even though it's not safe to use, they might want to use it and they should be allowed to use it and they should obviously be a source for them to download it from. Same goes for any other version of Windows that people want to use that they've paid for and they might want to continue to use it. It's their choice at the end of the day. Now, this is another site that someone talked about, which was the Archive Internet Archive, where you can download ISOs from there. And again, this is another risky uh, way to download ISOs. Now, I'm not suggesting that this is a dodgy ISO that you're downloading. I'm just saying that the risk factor is pretty high because do you personally know Ice X Storm? And who is that guy? Who is the one that created this and uploaded it? You just don't know. He could have injected some sort of nasty piece of malware inside there. You would never know. Uploaded it to this website. And of course, he knows that people are going to want to download this version of Windows. And there's loads of other ones up here too. So, you know, get it from the source itself, Microsoft. And if you can't get it, it means there's a reason why you can't get it. Because like I've pointed out before, you're not supposed to be getting these versions unless you're a business or a company. And the license keys that you are paying for on all of them sites are going to be volume keys regardless of what people will tell you they are and i've proved it in video and i have actually removed the video because it was causing too much drama and it is across the board every site will be selling volume keys now of course this is the source where you should be downloading windows 11 unfortunately if you don't want 24 h2 this is the version you're going to get it will always offer the very latest version and it will have all of the updates inside of that iso file so November is the end of life of 23H2. So if you wanted to reinstall Windows at any point and you wanted to reinstall Windows uh, 11 23H2, you're not going to be able to get a direct link from Microsoft. Now, you can use some of them other third party methods to get those ISOs, but they're the risk factor then goes up quite a bit. Now, of course, at the end of the day, if you're happy to take those risks, by all means, do so. It's your PC, your choice. I'm just giving you my opinion on the whole thing because you would never know what's in those isos even if you scan the iso it might be zero day malware which means it's not going to be detected by any antivirus and you could go and install it on your pc and you've just given someone access to your pc because it could be installing a backdoor or rootkit or something nasty on that system that's why it's important to get your iso files from the source and that is Microsoft's own website. Now, if you're wondering why Microsoft don't offer download links for, say, Windows XP, Windows 7, uh, Windows Vista, and so on, it's because they are end of life and they just don't want people using their operating system. So they will refuse to offer the ISO files for those operating systems 
The same thing for Windows 10. Once that reaches end of life, that page will come down and you won't get any download links for that ISO. So might as well get it now while you have a chance. That's why I've made videos on that topic. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the next one or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Links in the video description. Bye for now. Thank you.